Okay, so this is a short video to demonstrate how to use the Respondus Lockdown Browser to take an exam or quiz. Um, I'm doing this because I know there are some people who are a little concerned about it. Normally, uh, when I put up videos, they are done uh, through a desktop video producer uh, producing program like Panopto. I can't do that because Respondus will knock that out. So uh, this is using an external uh, video so, uh, 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 recorder. Um, and so I put in this uh, short quiz, Respondus Practice Test. Uh, it has the instructions for taking it right here. You can access it. It also has a link to downloading Respondus. You have to install it on your computer before you take uh, this quiz or the actual exam, the midterm that you're going to take later on. Uh, it also has a little bit of information on how to take a uh, Respondus uh, exam and has uh, a link to additional information uh, on Blackboard for, uh, excuse me, on, uh, on the UMBC website for people who are going to take exams on Respondus. And so check this out. It's got a lot of really useful information. You can start the exam here if you like, but all it's going to do is tell you, hey, you can't do it here. You got to open Respondus. So my advice, uh, download and install Respondus and then start it from there. That's what you're going to have to do anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. I've, I've gone ahead and done that. I have Respondus right here, lockdown browser. And there it is. It asks you uh, what your system is. Ours is called Blackboard MH, B B M H. Don't use the one that says test. That's not for us. Click OK. If you have anything running in the background like Skype, which is kind of automatically on a lot of computers, let it close it. Uh, if you have a bunch of programs, you may have to uh, close the uh, browser and go close them yourself. And then you'll have to log in just like you normally would to your uh, UMBC. All right. And so, hopefully, there we go. That'll bring you back to Blackboard. Now, it doesn't take you right to your course. It just takes you to the main UMBC Blackboard site. So you're going to have to go to your course, whichever one it is. For us, it's genetics. But this is going to be true for all of your courses. And my guess is you're going to be taking a lot of Respondus exams in the near future uh, and quizzes. And so we're going to go to genetics and back to uh, assignments. And there it is right there, same thing. So just do it now inside of Respondus, you can tell because of this blue bar. And if you click on it now, you see those same instructions you always see for quizzes and exams. It tells you uh, how to take the course. It tells you that you have five minutes. I only put a couple questions here as an example. Uh, and it tells you you can begin uh, by clicking begin. And so there you go. Now, all of those instructions are here under the test information again, but you notice they take up a lot of space. You can close that, by the way. If you look up here at the arrow, that'll get that out of the way. Underneath that is another set of information called qu uh, question completion status. That'll show you how many questions there are and where you are in the exam if you find that in, uh, information useful. That's up to you. Uh, when there are 50 questions, that's kind of nice to have uh, uh, knowing which ones you've done and which ones you haven't. Um, I gave you a couple different examples of types of questions that you may run into during uh, e uh, exams. Uh, so for example, this first one here is multiple choice. In a multiple choice question, you only get to select one of them, right? So all of them are wrong uh, except for one as long as the question was written correctly. Okay. Uh, as soon as you click it, it will save it. Um, you can save it and move forward or you can save it. It usually takes a few seconds. It does lag a little bit and then you can move forward. A multiple answer will allow you to select as many different uh, answers as you like, uh, maybe even all of them if you want, but most instructors, many instructors, uh, will make it so that if you select wrong answers, 
you're going to lose credit. Uh, I've described how that might work in the question. You can take a look at it. Um, uh, so these are going to have one or more answers uh, correct. And so we'll go ahead and move through that. Here's one where you have to uh, calculate something and then type in an answer. Respondus does have built-in calculators, which your uh, instructor can uh, choose to make available to you. It's up here. It can be a scientific calculator like this or non-scientific, depending on your instructor. On my exam, it will be available as a scientific calculator. Uh, I recommend you use a regular uh, handheld scientific calculator. It will be easier to use. But this is available if you don't have one uh, available to you. Um, you also have uh, the ability to add uh, unusual characters if you're doing freehand short answer type of um, of responses. You can get to Greek letters and mathematical letters and special characters. Finally, one of the issues that uh, some people have uh, mentioned, and so here's a simple true-false question. Uh, one of the issues that some people have mentioned is a concern to them is that you can't go backwards. Well, sure you can. Uh, so for example, I just jumped all the way back to the beginning and then uh, I'm cycling through them again. If you're unable to do that in exam, that was an option of the instructor. It is not an issue of respondus. The uh, ability to do things in here uh, are settings that are exactly the same in Blackboard. The only thing that respondus does is make it so that you can't leave this window without exiting the exam. Uh, the ability to move around, see more than one question at a time, uh, all of that is the exact same as in Blackboard. Those decisions are up to your instructor. Okay? And so I'm going to go to the very end, and I will save and submit. And that's how you complete the test. It'll tell you how long you took it. It will tell you uh, your grade depending on whether your instructor wants it to or not. And so right now, I have it set to tell you your grade. When I have you take the midterm, it's not going to give you the feedback right away because I don't want it to do that until everyone's taken the exam. That's a pretty common choice. But you'll be able to go back and get the feedback as soon as everyone has done so. OK? I hope that's helpful and has made you feel a little more comfortable with using Respondus.